What's going on everybody? This is Steve from Altcoin Buzz coming at you and I wanted to start off by letting you know that we do go through the comments and keep up with you guys as best as we can uh, between YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. It's, it's a lot of you guys. We love it. So if you guys are in there and you see some other people's questions, don't hesitate to jump in and answer questions for each other because there's often times we don't have the time to stop and reply to everybody, but we mostly see what you're saying. So we, we kind of ingrain that. And I want to point out a few things. I want to give props right here because Tembo Fly had commented about an hour ago that this website called worldcoinindex.com looked better than CoinMarketCap. And Jeff and I both tend to use CoinMarketCap as a tool for us to demonstrate to you guys the conditions of the market. And I had to figure out what you know what's up. So what did Tembo Fly mean? And let's go take a look at our trusty old coin market cap. And today I want to talk about Oyster Pearl. This is another coin you guys have been asking us to talk about. So here it finally is. But here's coin market cap. We got some nice info. You know, it breaks it down and it breaks it down in terms of ether on this one. A lot of times you'll see these broken down in Satoshis. But this being an ERC20 token and currently traded only on KuCoin and Ether Delta, you can't buy it with Bitcoin yet. So that's why you'll see this chart broken down in ETH. Now let's go take a look at the same thing on WorldCoin Index. This one's a little bit different. Um, I've, I've noticed some things missing and I've noticed some things that are an improvement over coin market cap. But one of the things I love their chart, the way that it draws the crosshairs for you. I don't see the opportunity to show this in satoshi or eth or any other type of alternate currency so it's it, either i don't know how to use it or it's just missing that aspect of the uh, map in general and you got your trade volume you got your list of exchanges here so you don't even have to go click on a markets tab you can see that oyster pearl is currently only traded on ether delta and kucoin as i said earlier trading at about 33 to 34 cents of which they index that it's um, a median of 34 cents there now you can check out the social media again without having to click on different tabs and that I want to show you another thing which you'll probably notice more on the home page of WorldCoin Index is that they tend to do um, live updates so you don't have to refresh your screen all that often. You'll see green and red alerts pop in here so Tembo Fly props to you guys. I'm going to be checking this out but if you want to give us a shout out drop your comments below. Make sure of course that you're subscribed to our channel. See there comes some red adjustments. Sucks but it happens. Um, drop us some comments below hit the bell for notifications and we really highly suggest if you're on Twitter make sure you're following us it's at altcoin buzz IO make sure you add the IO at the end and on Instagram you could find us uh, we're just altcoin buzz so all right let's dive into it um, oyster pearl so I had previously not looked into this project but you know as I said you guys are always dropping coin um, mentions down in the comments saying Jeff Steve yo guys check this out and Finally came across some information as I was browsing some news on the cryptosphere. I was on Reddit looking into some of the uh, discussions that were taking place on cryptocurrencies, you know, trying to figure out what my portfolio is going to diversify into. And I think I'm going to do a video at, at an, another, another time to talk about how I've grown my portfolio. You know, I've grown with the market. I put my money in before it boomed. And I think, on a, you know, give or take, however, this today's treated me. I'm actually up a little bit today compared to yesterday. But I've grown my portfolio by about 2,500% uh, so far compared to the cash that I put into there. So um, I've had a lot of luck. It's a lot of fun. You know, I've been up and down. Just hang in there, guys. You know, th this all is a long-term investment. And if you're constantly trading day to day, you know, swapping out of one coin, swapping into the other, that's not a very healthy habit. You can certainly make some money that way. I suggest if you're going to do that, get a portion of your portfolio that is in a more... Um, some of it stable, some of it volatile. Just diversify. Don't don't put all your eggs in one basket. But do what you want. This that's just my um, opinion, and um, certainly not financial advice. But I think you'll see that as kind of a common thread of knowledge among people who are trying to help you guys out. Um, I, I had learned that you know despite the the market, the stock market going through big boom and stuff like that as well, the Dow Jones Industrial Average. You know, if your money was out of that market for like 12 days during the year, the 12 biggest days of the year, then you actually would lose money. So you can, I don't know what the statistics are with the cryptocurrency market, but let's assume that if you want to hold on to some of these coins and you panic sell and jump to another coin because it's the next shiny object and you're just riding the FOMO, 
then potentially you can miss the boat when everyone else is impatient and getting out of a coin it drops you could be buying it and riding the boom when it comes around so anyways check out coin world coin index we're going to dive into oyster pearl so um so here's what i've learned so far so this is a smart contract based system that's like it's based on ethereum on that blockchain technology but it's also using the iota tangle ledger so it's combining ethereum and iota and here's what i think is really interesting about it is that it provides itself as an alternative to websites needing to display ads you know like trusty old ads you see them here on coin market cap you know all over the place you see them here on world coin desk they've got them as well and those are okay right like me and you don't have any problems with those sometimes it's got relevant information in it but you know let's say that a, a website didn't want to have to put those on there it, this oyster pearl provides them an opportunity to make money uh, by inserting one line of code like literally they demonstrate you put in this script with your eth address your wallet address and a source code once they're once they get past their test net and they actually launch their their um live platform which i think on the roadmaps going out in 20 early 2018 then the website would notify you that hey this this website's running oyster pearl do you want to allow it to use a portion of your storage on your machine and or data processing to be able to compute the ledger and store some data files so really weird man i, I was looking into that and, and i'm really a big fan of Sciacoin. I, i've talked about that before a few weeks ago i did a video and i was like at 0.6 cents and I, I fully believe in that project um you know i've i've moved my position around a few times with that but you know i think long term sci has got a, a big uh, a lot of potential let's say that and so i'm looking at oyster kind of with that same um same mindset of like what are these guys bringing about you know sci is decentralized data storage and oyster pearl is also decentralized data storage and it's also allowing for the person who's visiting your website to provide a little bit of computational power to process the um, nodes on the blockchain so that is just a little bit strange but with the tangle ledger it's going to take these data files and it's going to store them somewhere in this little, little small file on your machine for visiting these websites you know we're not apparently we're not talking large bits of data um, according to the information i've picked up from reddit and, and also from their website it's talking about storing small little chunks of data on your machine and st storing it redundantly across multiple machines and that's where the tangle ledger comes in is it's got that pulling mass decentralized bits of data together with a lot of redundancy to ensure that the information is always accessible um, allegedly at least right that's why iota's got a lot of um, potential as a standalone and this this current or this oyster uh, pearl doesn't appear to be an official product of either ethereum or of iota but because a lot of that information it, you know the blockchains are open apis and, and protocols that other people can build upon it looks like they chose to take those two and kind of marry them together so you're going to get anonymous data storage you won't know what files are on your machine and you won't be able to access necessarily access necessarily even the entire file to ensure that it's not going to be accessible to the person on that who holds those files on their machine otherwise you know you'd be handing out pictures or bank account info whatever you are storing on this cloud-based system and just letting other people per peruse it as, as desired but it's going to be um it's good it's going to be encrypted you know for lack of a better word you know it's the blockchain is going to help encrypt that information and then piece it all back together when it's needed so i guess the team's been around a while i didn't really look into the team you know I, i'm not we're not um uh, talking about this coin necessarily to sit here and like plug it but the um the idea is i, I really am just excited by the technology that's behind it and i see that you know what you're going to have happen once this program launches you're probably going to visit a lot of websites because i that have this and i imagine that cryptocurrency websites might be among the first to adopt it but wouldn't it be nice to actually like land on a decent website and not have to worry about your page loading so dang slow because it's got like five six ten ads on it um you know you just want to get the news out of yahoo or you just want to get whatever and then instead it just gives you a little notification that hey our website uses oyster pearl when you come here can we just use a little bit of your machine and you go yeah sure but that gets a little bit um, heavy. So let's take a look at what they're saying on Reddit. So I, I discovered this. Let's see who the author was. Joey B 908. So this is posted on Reddit. If you guys want to check it out, it's called Oyster Pearl combining Ethereum and IOTA to hit an untapped market. So um, I don't know if this guy has any affiliation. He says that 
he owns the token, but he's not a part of the core team. So I, I don't, I don't know. I'm not a big Reddit user myself. I mean, I'm, I, I don't contribute. I should say, I read on it, you know. But that's that's pretty much the extent of what I do. So I was reading his information too because it's, sometimes it's really good to have have data broken down into a more digestible format. Uh, whereas hearing it from the team that created the project might inundate you with too many big words or concepts. Um, but he really breaks it down nice if you guys want to read his. So props out to him, um, and he explains the cost system and how that all works. You can currently only pick it up on Ether, Delta, and KuCoin. Um, so right now, being that it trades at about $0.34, cents, if it's still at that value, $0.34.5, cents, um, usually when when a coin is only on those types of exchanges, like KuCoin and Ether, Delta, they're, they're not for the the beginners to use, you know, that, um, ether Delta uses smart contracts to transfer. So it's a little less of like a G a GUI, GUI graphical user interface. I probably butchered the heck out of that word, but the, uh, you know, your beginners aren't going to use it and therefore the coins don't really generate as much market capital potential as they could. So we're sitting at about $11 million in market cap. If this coin gets picked up by something like Binance, Bittrex, hit BTC or something like that, and it becomes exchangeable on more currencies than just Ethereum, and you can get into a Bitcoin or whatever, hypothetically, expect the market cap to just explode on this coin. And we've seen that with Siacoin, as I mentioned. Siacoin's somewhat similar for decentralized cloud storage. Um, but Siacoin's not built on the Tangle Ledger and stuff, to my knowledge. But this, this is just something to consider that I can't really make a prediction on whether I think this is undervalued, but using sort of my indicators of like okay it's on a very few exchanges it's got a market cap under 100 million way under 100 million does it have technology you personally believe in yeah i mean i like this technology one because i think it's solving one problem which is i don't want to look at ads all the time like the ones you see on the screen right now even if they are relevant to me but two i i think that providing some of your system resources, I mean, you're already giving them your system resources when you're visiting a website one way or the other. You're loading JavaScripts and stuff like that on, you know, you're probably loading like a dozen JavaScripts right now just watching a YouTube video. But um, being able to load one script instead of all these other scripts for the ads that tells it, hey, I just want to store like a portion here, man. Can I borrow, bum some space off you? Um, that's pretty cool. So what it's going to do is it's actually going to pay the website owner. Uh, sucks for you though. I mean, like... Just like when you go and you visit a website that has banner ads, what you're getting out of that website experience is you're getting the information. So you're there to consume the info. You're not really there to, to browse the web to make money. But the website um, webmaster, or the team behind a website, you know, it has to get paid somehow unless they're uh, just doing it for fun. So when you go and you say, yes, I, I consent to having this information stored in a little bit of my processor being used for your project, for the um, Oyster Pearl project, then that webmaster is going to get paid a tiny bit, and that's why we have in their um, in their script the payment um, ETH address. So that's going to be the not you; it's going to be the person who hosts the website. And and uh, oh, I can only imagine. I just thought about this: somebody could potentially hack these types of scripts and put their address in there. That'd be bad. Um, so hopefully that's been thought of because I'm sure that could happen where somebody can go in and inject their ETH address. Although I guess those addresses become uh, publicly available and then we could trace all the uh, coin transactions there thereof. But, um, but anyway, so the people who want to store the information are going to go to Oyster Pearl to get, I would assume not only an encrypted and, and reliable cloud storage, but a cost effective cloud storage. And I don't know, um, what the dollar dollar cost average of storing information on Oyster Pearl as opposed to Google Drive or, or anything else out there is going to be, but let's assume it's cheap. So that website that's hosting the script is going to get paid for the facilitation of being able to basically lend out its audience's machines for storage and processing power. Um, comment below what you guys think of that. Is this like, is this an invasion of privacy or is this like kind of expected when... We're already getting cookies and pixels and all these other tracking data uploaded when we visit most websites. We're already getting banner ads retargeting those pixels and cookies. We're already seeing banner ads based on browser history. We're seeing banner ads based on content from the website you're on. And those banner ads slow you down, especially on a mobile experience. I don't know how this is going to play out um, on the mobile, considering mobile phones do have CPU, but they, I don't think they generally have, they don't have a dedicated GPU 
to my knowledge. Um, but so this may or may not apply to mobile. I'm assuming it would have to since the majority of website visits, I think, seem to at least be coming from mobile these days. I don't know if that's true across the world, but I do very, very little internet browsing um, on the computer compared to on my phone. So let us know what you guys think. Is this something you guys see happening? Or um, do you get excited about projects like this? Like to me, I'm like, dude, let's eat this project up because at 34 cents, the moment this thing gets listed, it, you know, presumably if it gets listed on another exchange and not just KuCoin and Ether Delta, it's just going to get a massive cash injection. And then that could catapult it. Let's say it goes to 100 million, which still barely put it on the top 100. If that, um, you'd be looking at 10 xing your money roughly and being at a three dollar coin. Now I haven't seen, um, I haven't seen that happen right now with Sia Coin. Um, but we do have only a 32 million circulating supply and a total supply. Um, so they've got about 30% of their, of their total supply in circulation. I guess you'd have to watch out for that. Let's see how that compares to Sia Coin, which Sia Coin's right now only trading at like 2.0. Oh, Sia Coin's up. Oh, so Sia Coin's at about a tenth of the price and it's got almost exactly 10 times the circulating supply. So I guess they have, um, is that right? Hang on here. 32, 31 billion circulating supply. 31 million. Oh, okay. There are 10. Yeah, I get it now. So it, I was confused. It's, uh, yeah. So it's a tenth of that, but it's, you know, way, way, um, way more circulating supply in favor of Sciacoin, which is why it's got such a higher, so much higher market cap. But, Keep your eyes open for this Oyster Pearl. Add it to your radar. Um, unless you're willing to get onto Ether Delta or KuCoin, you can't pick it up yet. So, could be a good reason to watch our video on how to use Ether Delta. Shaylin had done a video a couple weeks ago walking you guys through how to get signed up. Um, go ahead and search our channel for that if you guys are interested, uh, because that's about the only way you're going to pick up Oyster Pearl at this time. But um, drop some comments below. Let us know what else you guys want us to talk about, and let's go into some of these comments and see if we can answer some of you guys. I'm on the YouTube comments right now. Um, Scott Wallace says, can you review Bitcoin? Um, never heard of it. I'll, I'll take a look and see if it's something I like. Bill, Billy Birdie says, I agree with everything except IOTA. IOTA is way overpriced. And that's on Jeff's recent 1000 in crypto video. Social Libertarian chiming in. Billy Birdie it is, but the thing is it won't likely come down because of its potential. Hey, good point there. Um, a lot of what we're investing in right now is speculation, not a lot of actual real world projects out there. So um, Mary Holdelmas, uh, right back at you, Stefano. And how does he add down the seven days, et cetera, all there? Oh, W. All right, let me show you, buddy. So you must, I'm assuming you're referring to on coin market cap. So let's go back to coin market cap. And when you log into the home page, what you're going to see there is. Oh, Shoot, bear with me. Technical difficulties, all right. Your default setting here, you're gonna see the 24 hour and you're gonna see the seven day graph. So that's your default. A little trick, for some reason you get a different display when you click up here on the cryptocurrencies. So I'm gonna go click on the 1380 and then you're gonna see the graph disappear but then you're gonna see seven day, 24 hour and one hour um, here on the right hand side. Is that what you meant? So. Let us know if that's what it was. Hopefully you see this video. I mean, you guys are subscribed. You should be watching them all. So anyways, have a Merry Christmas if that's what you do. Otherwise, hang out with us till the new year. We'll be pumping out new videos each and every day. This is Steve with Altcoin Buzz signing off.